Hi, my name is Adrienne Sim, and I am a physiotherapist practicing pelvic health. And today I'm going to be walking you through the trans abdominal approach to looking at the pelvic floor. So we're going to start with a transverse approach. So we're first going to get our client into a crook lie position with their knees bent. And then also making sure with a trans abdominal approach to looking at the pelvic floor that we ensure that the patient has a moderate amount of fluid in their bladder. So asking the patient to get one to two cups of fluid and not void before their appointment is important for the imaging piece. So we're going to come into view here. We're gonna make sure that the marker of the probe is towards the patient's left, which matches the screen. And then we're trying to angle the probe down in that suprapubic region, finding the best view of the bladder so the image should be nice and crisp in all four sides of the bladder. And then we're just starting out making an observation about the symmetry of the bladder base. So whether or not the left and right side are um, looking symmetrical or whether or not there's some asymmetry and one side is looking higher than the other. Then we're gonna get the client to do a pelvic floor contraction and a relaxation. And we're gonna do that again and then letting that go. So we're just observing the quality of the contraction. So a normal response to a pelvic floor contraction should be an elevation of that bladder base. And we're also looking at, I'll get you to do that again, that lifting of the bladder base and whether or not it's symmetrical or again there's some asymmetry and just making a comment of that and then we're also looking at the quality of the relaxation so is it complete is it partial or is it not relaxing at all so i'll get you to do one more so we're seeing that bladder base lift and in this case we're seeing a little bit more of the left side elevate more than the right um, but we're getting a nice complete relaxation down and i'll get you to do one more time there and then letting it go, good. From there, I'm gonna orient the probe to the sagittal plane. So I'm going to take the marker up towards the client's head and then angle the probe down even further here. So in this position here, we have the urethra off to the right side of the screen. And then I'm gonna get the client again to contract their pelvic floor and then letting that go. So again, observing the contraction, which should be, a, again, a view of elevation of that bladder base, and then letting go and descending back down. And that wraps up the transverse and sagittal views for trans abdominal pelvic floor assessment.